reputation of being the biggest puncher in boxing, but you managed to hurt Jacobs. It is surprising that he was able to go the distance with, with Gennady Golovkin, and yet alone, he got up from the knockdown that everybody, everybody expected it, but he got up. They didn't quite expect that, that he got up. I didn't expect it either. Yeah. He showed guts. He showed a resilience that uh, we haven't seen from Daniel Jacobs on a top level. We've seen resilience on a lower level, which a lot of champions can do, but you really show how big of a champion, how proven of a champion you are when you go up against a monster and a pound for pound really great fighter like Golovkin to peel himself off the canvas, come back and get in the fight and possibly even win in some scorecards. In my, in my scorecard, without judging it, without scoring it, I thought Jacob pulled it off, but then I watched it again and actually scored it round by round. I gave it a Golovkin by one or two rounds, so. It looks like he's waiting in the wings for the Canelo Golovkin winner. There's a rematch cost if Canelo loses, but if he wins, he can do whatever he wants next. What would you make of Jacobs and Canelo at, at 160? Another great fight for Canelo. It's a winnable fight for him. It'll be a respectable fight for him, and it'll be, it'll be a big fight because Jacobs has that story. And now he's proving that he's just not a story. The guy is a legitimate big knockout artist and a champion. So I think it makes perfect sense for something on pay-per-view, yeah. And last man, uh, thanks for the time, appreciate it, but Conor McGregor, man, he signed his end of the deal. He's waiting on Mayweather. What do you make of that fight, man? It's a dream matchup. Everybody wants to see it. You're a boxing reporter, act like one. Don't be talking to me about McGregor. No, man, I, I, I just think that that's a sham, you know, but uh, it's business. And Floyd Mayweather has made buku bucks. And he really is a genius inside the ring and outside the ring, and he has the right people behind him. It's a big money fight, man, so you can't knock it. I knock it because I know it's not going to be competitive. I don't give McGregor any kind of opportunity. And I think any boxing mind, any 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 person that knows boxing knows that Mayweather embarrasses him. It's not a boxing fight. One more guy with us. This is my guy. This is my guy here. Oh, man. Talking about Mayweather McGregor, man. What's your take on that, Leonard? What, what do you make of that? Mayweather versus... If they box, it's going to make Mayweather. Yeah. If they kick and they grab, it's going to be... It's gonna be Mayweather all the way. Hey, hey, by the way, you been like, Oh no, 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 kicking and grappling, that's a different story. Yeah. You know what? Today's the 12th year anniversary of the contender for now. Get out of here. Yeah, today on this very day, May 24th. The contender has to come back. Oh man. Tell the fans where to follow you, Sergio. Uh, Latin Snake underscore, uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram and all the other stuff. What's next for you, man? Where you at? Is that uh, the commentating position? No, 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 I wanted to fight. No, I'm very comfortable doing that. I would love to do that for the most fight of my career, but no, I still want another fight. I let Heyman know, I let Team Heyman know. If uh, if it could be the right matchup, the right style of matchup, that makes sense. Because, you know, no one wants to hear a former champion coming off a big fight saying, oh man, he's gonna have another big fight, or I don't want no more tuna fights. If it's not a, a fight that, that makes sense for me, like another former champion that's coming off a loss or something like that, then I won't take it. But uh, yeah, definitely, I wanna, I wanna look for another big fight.